Jokes Dog. Okay, so there are people who occasionally bring up some kind of clickbaity story saying, Oh, look, it's Sega. They're getting into the modern console. Uh, there's a modern... Uh, no, it, no, it, it's never really the case. It's modern consoles using, what, uh, programmable field array, whatever, or, or emulation to try to give you a Sega Genesis experience. You can buy a new console that plays old Sega Genesis games. It's not going to keep up with an Xbox One, PS4, Switch, Nvidia Shield, none of that stuff, or even your phone. It's not doing that, but they'll put out those clickbait videos. But what about this? You have Retrobit. They've got these controllers, right? And I've talked about this before. Officially licensed Sega Genesis and Saturn controllers. I believe there's going to be a Dreamcast controller. They showed this stuff off a year ago. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I'm seeing videos on YouTube from, you know, the type of people who have their 250,000 subscriber, let's talk about retro gaming five times, seven times a week channels. That's the only thing we know about and we'll just keep remaking the same videos and that's what we do when we get a lot of ad revenue. You know, those type of people got these controllers. Like all of them, all the variants. They got controllers for Genesis, for Sega Saturn. They got both of those controllers but with USB connectivity also. And I'm thinking, okay, are they sold out? Because I, I go to their Twitter and it, um, I'm under the impression that they sold out very quickly. Like they're not available on Amazon. Oh, but there's somewhere else where they're available. And then they're gone. And then you get more news saying, oh, well, they're not going to be out till April. What the hell? What took so long with this? I, I, is this a limited run of five a piece? Like what the hell? But then I'm asking around, you know, I'm asking, okay, what if I could use some of these controllers for fighting games on, you know, the Pack. Super Nintendo Classic I got, right? And and it would be great to use them in fighting games because look, six person, oh, sorry, six button fighters. Yeah, you have six buttons on the Super Nintendo controller, but them shoulders are not doing you any favors. They're not. It's preferable to go at it with the six buttons a la Genesis or Saturn. And I hear so many good things about that Saturn Model 2 D-pad. It looks like that kind of floating one you'd get from Mad Cats. They would put on that N64 controller nobody wanted to play, right? But everybody swears by this D-pad. So I'm thinking, I gotta get one of these. It's, it may not easily be compatible with Super Nintendo Classic. However, this summer, they're coming out with a modern Sega controller. We're talking twin sticks, I'm assuming rumble function, Bluetooth connectivity, as well as triggers. Yeah, the shoulder triggers. This is the kind of controller Sega would have on the market now if they made consoles. Oh, but you can't get Sega to actually make anything. They had to go halvesies with Retrobit. Like, comment, share, follow, subscribe. Von Jog Vlog is made possible by your support on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Vaughn Fry. Because f Google.